reception. Uh, last week we did um, a little activity that was all based on 2D flat shapes. So today Mrs Pierce is back again and this time we're going to look at 3D shapes, 3D objects. And they're called objects because we can pick them up and we can put them down. We have to walk around them or step over them, which is very different to the 2D shapes we saw, which really they can't be picked up because they're flat drawn on the floor or on the wall. 3D objects we can pick up and walk around and step over. I wonder if any of you know what this one's called. It looks a bit, doesn't it, like um, the shape of a tin of beans or um, let me think what else, or a toilet roll. It's a, it's a rolly shape. Why do you think it rolls? Well, it rolls because it's quite a curved round shape, isn't it? This one is. Um, it doesn't have any corners or points like some of the other ones that we've seen. I wonder what else this reminds you of. Oh, what about a wheel? It could be a wheel, couldn't it? Because it rolls just like a wheel. It might just be a shorter um, shape to make a proper wheel. Does anybody know what this shape's called? Well, this shape is called a cylinder. So we've got a cylinder here. That's our first shape. So I'm going to put that down there and see what else I've got in my box. Mm. Oh, look at this purple one I've got here. This is a very round shape. In fact, it looks just like a ball, doesn't it? Uh, this shape hasn't got any points. It hasn't got any edges on it like that where we can look over the edge. It hasn't got anything like that because the whole of the shape is completely round. There's no flat part on it at all, is there? So it's a bit like a ball. It could be a big lump of ice cream. Um, we might think that it's like uh, what we might use if we were doing a model of somebody's head. Uh, so it can be used for lots of different things, can't it? Well, this one, this is a very, very tricky one to say, is called a sphere. I wonder if any of you knew that. So this shape is a sphere. I wonder if you can think of any 3D objects in your house that are the same shape as this sphere. I'll put it just there. It's not going to roll away. Right, so the next shape I've got, here we go. Now you may have noticed that the sphere and the cylinder are both shapes that can roll. And that's why this one's very good for being a wheel, or this one being very good to be a ball. But this shape here, it's got lots of flat faces on it, hasn't it? And it's got lots of points on it. Do you remember what mathematical word we used for that last week? We called those corners, didn't we? This shape has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners on it. Lots of corners. It's also got lots of straight edges. Whereas the cylinder was very round because it had round curved edges, didn't it? And this one's also got lots of flat square faces. So, this one here, I wonder if you know what it's called? It's the same shape as a die. It's the same shape as an oxo cube, which gives you a little bit of a clue. Um, it's the same shape as a box, maybe. It's the same, same shape as lots and lots of things. This is called a cube. Okay, so we've got a sphere, we've got a cube, and we've got a cylinder so far. Now this one doesn't roll quite as well, but we do know that a die is the same shape and we do roll a die, don't we? But I don't think that I'd use a cube um, for the wheels on my car. I think I would use the cylinder. What do you think? I'm gonna put the cube there. Let me have a look what else I've got. Oh, I've got another one here. Look, it looks very similar to the cube actually. I wonder if you can see anything about it that's different. about it. Well this shape is a bit different because it has got long edges and short edges on it whereas on the cube they're all the same length so that makes this one a little bit different. It has got lots of corners on it though just like the cube it's got one two three four five six seven eight corners on this shape just like the cube and it's got lots of straight edges in fact it's got 12 straight edges just like the cube. But have you noticed, look, what, what 
what shape can you see on the flat parts and the faces of the cube? That's right, they're all squares, aren't they? But what shape can you see on the face of this shape? That's right, it's got lots of rectangles. It's got a rectangular face. And sometimes on this shape, they're all rectangular, but sometimes they can be rectangular and they can be square on the end. So it might have a mixture. Well, this one is called a cuboid. So we've got a cuboid shape. Sphere, cylinder, cube, and cuboid. Let's see if you might know what this one's called. What is this shape? Well, it reminds me a bit of a wizard's hat or a witch's hat, or it could even be an ice cream cone. And we could put our sphere on the top to make a big ice cream. Um, it could be a cone um, in the street when we see some roadworks. It can be used for all sorts of different things. Um, this one um, has one flat face on it that's a circular shape, just like the cylinder, but it's a bit different because it goes in, doesn't it? It doesn't, it goes into a point right at the top, so it's got one corner at the top. It's this one is called a cone. Okay, so we've got a sphere, a cone, a cube, a cylinder, and a cuboid. Now, I won't remember if you remember that game that we looked at last time. We're going to have another go at playing that game and I'm going to hide one of the shapes and I wonder if you can guess which shape is missing. So I've got my tea towel here. I'm going to cover over my shapes like this. So if you remember what five shapes there were, I'm going to take one away and see if you can guess what shape is missing. Pause the video if you would like to and just have a think with your mummies and daddies or brothers and sisters what shape you think I might have taken. Mm. What has gone? One has definitely gone, hasn't it? Well, we know it's not the sphere because the sphere is still here. Look, with its no corners or edges, it's just a nice round face all the way round. Um, the cylinder's still here, so it can't be the cylinder, the cylinder that we might use for the wheels on a car or to draw to make a can of beans. Um, the cuboid is still here, so it can't be the cuboid and it can't be the cone because the cone's still here. So I wonder what shape it was that was missing. Can you think what it was? Give yourselves a big clap if you got it right. It was... The cuboid. Oh, sorry, no, it wasn't children. The cuboid's here. It was the cube. So let me put the cube back in the middle. Right, I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see if you can guess what shape I've taken. Are you ready? Let me know if I can find one. Okay, I've found a shape. Hope you didn't see. Let's lift up the tea towel. What shape have I taken? Can you see which one it is? Have a really, really good look. Talk to whoever's in your house and see if you can tell them or convince them what shape you think I've taken this time. Well, I've not taken the cone, have I? The cone is still here, which could be a witch's hat. The cube, I haven't taken that this time. The cube is still here, so it's definitely not the cube I've got. Um, and it's not the cylinder, because the cylinder is still here. And it can't be the cuboid, because the cuboid's still here. So what shape is missing? Give yourselves a great big clap if you get it right. Are you ready? It was the sphere. Well done. See if you can practice saying that word, sphere. It's very tricky to say. So I'm going to put that there. So children, they are 
the, the five 3D um, objects that I would like you to have a think about. I wonder if you could go on a shape hunt around your house and see if you can draw or write down using your sounds all of the different 3D shapes that you can find in your house or out and about when you go out for your daily exercise. I wonder if you can find anything then because every single object is a different shape. You'll be able to find hundreds of different ones. Um, I look forward to seeing some of your lists. Bye bye everybody.